me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so why not help each other? I got to make some dough. You're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, it's about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. You know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you got to figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh... Fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something, just like the old days. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Goodbye. That's great. Yeah, yeah. 
Yep, I can come anytime for an interview. What's with you deal with? Forgive me. Michael, I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Uh, oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boy's back. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so... Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. Okay, we got some space. I'll try to boot up this antivirus. Hmm, guess I gotta close the rest of them down. And we scan. Ugh, oh, I need to write some product, bro. I'm feeling the itch. Scanning. Wow, your job is actually kind of stressful too, ain't it? And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. When we go mobile, we'll be able to track all their movements. We'll know That's so cool. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye. 
Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig back. Ow. Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. How's your air guitar? Oh. Um, a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive-aggressive note on it! If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing thieves! in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Tea bag time, my friend. Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. You know, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Out. No! I'm watching Famer Shame! Tough fucking tip! Give me up! guy in America. You all disgust me! America loves you. You are in the final. Recorded live from the Vinewood Bowl. Who will win it all? Who will humiliate themselves in front of the world? Find out tonight on Fame or Shame, the finals. Now, please welcome your host, Laszlo. Yeah! Oh, 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 no, no, he didn't. Yes! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, thank you so much! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage! Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carroll. Today, you're about to witness a new phase full-on, weapons-grade, red-alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we have invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Oh. Hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! Get security! Oh, oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. 
You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Tell me that. Not you. The Dieter Sack store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. that opportunity. I said get off me, you stupid bastard. I told you. He's got okay. my car. Hit the gas. Let's go. Get us out of here. No word. I know what I'm doing. I do not want to go to prison. Chill out. It's under control. Drive, Michael! Chill out. It's under control. Let go, Michael! I'm on top of it.
Under control. Do you have to? Hello? No seatbelt. The cops are still after us. I'm on top of them. Of course they're gone. Who are you talking to? Come on, I'll get you back to the house. What's wrong with you? Don't say it! What? That I have everything I want, so why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed! Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you! I'm not saying anything! I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail! Where are you going? I mean, who are you to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at. Love, love, big love. Are we going home? So this is what it's like to be you. Uh, not really, honey. See, I'm a semi-successful truck. You're a bit of a failure, but hey, kudos for trying. Not that successful if you're in witness protection. Well, I've got an idea. Why don't we see what Agent Dave and the FIB think of his lovers on the run at? Can we drive home, please? You know, I'm sort of thankful for this. Thankful? This is the worst day of my life. Ah, oh, come on, you're doing your part. You're spending habits. You got us into a sticky financial situation, so you're cutting corners. Really? My spending habits? I've seen your day trader account. Oh, hey, that's private. I swear, password protection. It... Stop! It ain't even sacred no more. Give it up. You pissed our savings down the toilet. Get rid of the car, Michael. It can't stay in the driveway. Oh, and yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>